Christmas is supposed to be a gift to the retail trade, but the high street took a hammering. In High Wycombe, there was no dressing up, the slowdown. December normally is, is supposed to be OK, you know, should be good. Yeah. But the, this year is a very disappointing, 50% you know, down sales, sales down, yeah. especially in, the, in January. January is uh, very tough. In the most crucial month of the shopping year, inflation strikes and caution saw consumers spend selectively, even when splashing out. Possibly fewer customer numbers, but there is still people coming in to spend the money on special gifts and special presents. Retail sales volumes, that's the amount of stuff we bought, fell by 1% in December, and year-on-year year volumes were down a record 5.8%. Sales of classic Christmas presents like cosmetics, sports equipment, games, toys, watches and jewellery were down 6.2%. And whatever we bought, we paid more for less. Since April 2021, the value of sales, that's the red line here, and the volume in yellow have diverged as inflation cut consumer spending power. All the core essentials, food um, and, and energy is where most of the money that consumers are spending is going. And of course, non-essential goods, you know, the discretionary items, the big ticket items are the ones where the, the, the sales have, have suffered most. The figures reflect the everyday experience of millions like these shoppers in Oxford, for whom cutting spending is the only option. We've got a family of 12 and we decided that they all had everything they wanted, so we gave them a pair of socks each and they were very pleased. Every street corner that you go on, it just seems like it, it keeps going up and up, Every, everything, really. Um, you know, so it's, it's tough, it's hard. I'm so young and I still live at home, so I, have the, I don't really have to spend my own money that much, but my mum, she works really hard, minimum wage job, so yeah, not great. The economic data may suggest inflation has finally peaked, but out here, it doesn't feel like it. Essential food and fuel prices are still rising and the value of people's wages is falling. So in the real world, the cost of living squeeze is going to have a very long tail. 2023 may see the economic pain ease, but the road to next Christmas already looks a long one. Paul Kelso, Sky News.